different today because your hair is just kind of like hanging here and we're going to do like the whole move up and all the good stuff but and we're going to like okay so you have some black color going on underneath right mm -hmm. and so but you haven't had it colored underneath for probably a year at least so there's at least six months of outgrowth here and so and you chelated yesterday correct thank you very much and her hair is super clean and fresh so um if she was not a hairstylist I would um, definitely chelate her hair first, but she already did that for me, so thank you. Um, and so we're going to move up her highlights today, and we are going to layer all of this up. And as long as it what stays long, and we don't take too much off, take too much off. But, but on my face. she wants it all different, of course. <laughs> well, I want it all different. But I also want to get rid of a lot of this darkness underneath because they like I don't, I, I'm just not the biggest fan of all this darkness underneath. I want to see some of this fun color throughout the whole thing. So that's what we're going to do today with our console. Um, I'm going to use Magix 10 Lightener and we're going to use the new additives. So um, let's go check all those out, okay? So it's going to be fun to use all the additives their new lightning system, it's got a tinted lightener to it, so it's really cool. And it's going to lift her hair because she's under level 5 without a lot of brassiness. So I'm super excited to use these things today. Cool. Let's do it again. Okay, guys. So we're going to use the new Magix 10 Lift 9 lifting system. So you guys, this is real life. This is how it goes. Okay, so this has the new Magix 10 Lift 9. It comes in a plastic bag, and this is the Brunette's lifting system. It is green, so it will contradict any warm red tones coming up in the hair. I'm gonna mix it in my little pingy. You don't have to, but I like to. So this is the Magix 10. It has a charcoal base. So for every 10 grams, you're gonna mix one gram of this brunette additive into your lightener. Okay, so let's do it, guys. Are we ready? All right, so I'm gonna do grams here. And then I'm also gonna use 21 volume, so I'd better get that. And... I am gonna switch over to grams. And so we have the grams in here. And so it's a charcoal color. So let's put, let's try and get it out of the bag here. Oh, there we go, 30. Okay, so there's 30 grams of lightener. And I wanna show you guys that it is charcoal-y. Okay, and so that's 30 grams of lightener, so that'll be three grams of this stuff. So it is green based, and we're gonna put three grams. There we go, three. All right, well, it looks blue, but it's for the brunettes. Did it go green for you? Yeah, I used it. Um on someone the other day and it looked really nice. I mean like in the, it looked just like that when I mixed it, but in the hair. Okay. And then I'm gonna mix like 45 grams of 21 volume. Because that's the consistency. I like it like one to 1 1.5. You know what, actually I'm gonna start in the back. So let's mix it a little bit lighter. So let's mix it 60 because these hairs are gonna be in there the longest. So th let's do it one to two, because it's gonna be there longer. So we'll dilute it a little bit more, okay? All right, so that's, oh, for fuck's sakes. 60 grams, not 62. All right, close enough, guys. And then, of course, we're always gonna add my Olaplex, okay? And so we're just gonna do 116 to 132 ounce Olaplex, just a little titty squeeze, just a little titty squeeze. You put that right in there. I put it on top of the liquid. Don't put it on the powder, okay? And then um, I'm going to give it a spin for 45 seconds. Okay? That's it. That's how you mix it. The charcoal here. Oh, yeah. It comes out kind of greeny. Yeah. These people. 
I love the way people pull into this parking lot, pull into parking spots. Don't pull into parking spots. It doesn't matter. Okay, so this is... Hey, guys. What is going on? It has been a hot minute since I've been here. Holidays, you know, filming a hair show, all those kind of things. But it's Dee, my fellow friend and co-worker at the salon. And I finally got my hands on her hair. And I hope you enjoyed those color mixing videos. Guys, if you want to try out Magic's 10, go to the, the description in the bio and the links are there to go try it out. All right, guys, so did you see that? I painted on the underneath. There's not a lot of video in the back, guys, so catch it now. I'm going to do these sections. I'm doing deep weaves on her hair, and I'm going to paint the underside first. And I'm using the Framar Big Daddy brush. I'm painting the underside, and then I'm painting the top side. So I'm buttering both sides. Instead of buttering the board, which kind of is like a pain in the butt, I'm going to butter both sides of the hair, and then I'm going to lay it in the foil, and then put the lightener on both sides. Now I'm using that new Magix 10 lightener that has the additive in there that will help neutralize the tones it's lifting up. I'm using my Nomad Hair Foil Boards that help me kind of fold these up a little bit nice and neater. As you can see, I can put my own stuff on there. It does take a little bit of a hotter minute, but I do have to do it. Now Dee does have some black hair color in there because um, they wanted her colors to pop more. I just We'll do that with darker vivids as I'm applying it to her hair. As you can see, I'm brushing under and on top and then laying the lightener on top very thick And because there's a lot of color we got to bust through in here. And I'm just going to fold her ends up in here and really butter it in and feather it up. And I'm not really like folding it up super tight, but I'm just kind of like buttoning it up there. Of course, I olded, added my Olaplex into there. So we are being very careful. Now we're just going to move to the sides of her hair now. So now we're moving off to the sides. So I'm going to section these off. So I'm using these uh, clips by Liss. These are pretty cool because you can like clip it up and just like put the hair up there. So you don't have to keep farting around with the clip. I really dig them. They come in like small and large. And yes, don't worry, the... Uh, link to them is in the description so i'm gonna do these on an angle and i like to do like a little flap now i know that some of the foils already come with them but i pre-cut my foils i'm just using these to get rid of them i think um this d was like my first person back this is the footage from when i just came back after my um back surgeries vacations and all the things i was doing um so i'm using these framer foils she just had them like done up so we just did some quick fold overs and just worked with them it was fine so i'm just kind of doing like um a quarter turn on each one uh around like a pivot from her head on a diagonal back up the head because when she pulls her hair back i want to see some nice highlights going around um the side of her face and um so remember we're converting these bangs into um, more of a shaggy bang. And look at this deep, dark hole she's got going on here. Oy vey. Let's get this. So I'm going in and painting that on and using a big foil in there and just really getting it in that hole, getting all that darkness. It had been a hot minute since he got her hair done. So she's like a level i think she thought she was like a level five i think i remember we had some discrepancy going on i'm like girl you are like a level two three i think we did like the black white thing like where you take a picture and you like put it on the black white on your camera roll and then you compare it against the black white on your color finder and it is like crazy like how much like you think you got something and you're like, oh yeah, that's a five. And you're like, no, it's not. It's like a two. It's a great way to find things. If you don't know that trick, you can probably Google search it or Instagram search it. So as you can see, I'm just kind of like working my way up the round of the head, like on a curve. So where we're going to wind up going like straight up horizontal on her part. So just working the way up. I got a lot of footage of this part, but guys, I missed the whole back, didn't I? So I did a lot of deep weaves in the back of the head, just in case you were wondering. I just wanted to pack as much highlight as I could in the back of the head. So yeah, let's call that like a counterclockwise twist. 
up the head, like, uh, so like it would be like a small pie shape up the head and then going up. So it's almost like now horizontal on the top of the head. Does this make sense, people? Let me know down in the comments if I make any sense to y'all. Okay, so this is going to wind up coming, like doing all these deep weaves. I'm going to do the same shit on the other side of the head. And then when it comes to her bangers, I'm going to like pack a whole bunch of highlights in there. I'm going for like maximum, maximum coverage here. Feathering it up. I'm going to slap a whole bunch of vivids on this. Like she wants green, so I don't care that her hair is green already. She needs her hair done already. Like I just did it. Like she needs her hair done at least every six months. She only washes her hair once every 15 days, so her color stays pretty amazing. And she does all the things, like, really, really good. So as you can see, I wasn't liking that. And I didn't like it again. So I'm like, screw it, I'm going to do the other side now. So as you can see, I did the other side kind of the same way, kind of coming up horizontal. Doing the same thing on the other side, guys. This stuff could become so monotonous and so boring, like, I just don't even know what to say anymore. Okay, let's get into these bangers. So I'm getting close to the hairline. I'm showing her how I want my foil. Put it this way, dude. Make them small because I got a lot of little hair and I don't like a heavy foil on a lot of hair because it's just going to weigh it down. I'm going to do the spread. Spread that right open with my fingers. One fold, deep weaves. Because it's small, I just don't want a lot of heaviness going down. So just going and putting that under there and just... Folding it under, and I, like I said, I'm going to put a whole bunch of vivids on this. So when we're done, we're going to rinse this, and we're going to stop oxidation. And we're going to do the Malibu C Deox, because when people have flat-looking vivids, it's usually because they didn't rinse the lightener out enough. And then it usually eats at your pigment, and then your pigment looks flat. So that's another tip that I tell everybody. Guys, don't forget that my unicorn uh, hair care guide is in my, I got all kinds of goodies over there at Elise Rocks. Does hair, hair by Elise Rocks. Yeah, hair by Elise Rocks. Dot com is the uh, link and it's down in the description. And you can download all my downloadable stuff there. I got all my goodies there. I got so many goodies, guys. Forms, contracts, hair vids, like, the whole nine yards, like more than I have here. Well, no, I have more hair vids here, but I got one hair vid there. And then I also have my coaching, if you guys are interested in that, which is like really amazing and awesome because like I take no shit in the salon and we make lots of money. So um, Dee was actually one of my students and now she works for me. So doing that good old hip twist there. All right, we're just rounding up the finish here on these bangers. It was a beautiful day that day. All oh, the door was open. It was gorgeous. Ugh. Right now, I'm currently looking out my window, and there's like eight inches of effing snow out there. Disgusting. I hate winter so much. In Chicago, it's like the worst. Oh, anyways, what is going on with you guys? I have missed you guys. What is going on? How is everything? How's everything been in the salon? How's biz? Tell me all about it in the comments, my friends. You guys also know, can't make a decision on this part here. Come on, Elise, get it together. <laughs> One more try. Um, tell me what's going on in the salon. You guys know I have that um, little Facebook group too that I'm starting. You guys, I have to like work on the, the bio. I have so much to offer. Like, I can't even keep it straight how much I have to offer, like, these days. Like, me and my assistant, you guys know I have an assistant, Kay. She's so cute. I love her. Um, she helps me try to keep all the things straight. And I am so happy because she's super young. And that helps me keep, like, hip with the youngins. <laughs> you know, because of old guys. So, older. But that's good because we have a nice blend over at the office, you know. So anyways, and then, you know, D's right in the middle there. Okay, guys, so now we get some, some, um, this is in point of view. Oh, I bought the neck point of view thing, though. The, have you guys seen that going around on the Facebook lately where you wrap it around your neck? All right, guys, so here is the lift with the Magix 10. So I didn't want to, like, bring it down too much. So you get a little poopy kind of lift there, but it doesn't matter. I'm throwing vivids on it. But here's some more lift of it. Um, and so... You see, it lifted really good. And there's like, for her being the level that she is, and of course I feathered it up, so it's kind of like 
rusty there. Um, anyways, you're going to watch me pull out the foils because that's fun, right? No, it's boring. Um, we're going to rinse the back first because the tops aren't done yet. So that's something I do do in the salon. So if stuff ain't done, I'm going to rinse it. I'm going to stop oxidation with that little yellow bottle behind my butt right there. That is Malibu C Deox. I'm going to stop oxidation for one minute. And then I'm going to apply number two, Olaplex. And then um, we're going to let that chill until the tops are done. I usually put like a towel on it or whatever and let it chill until it's done. Because like, why? You can't let this back sit in until the fronts are done. Because no. And I even mixed the formula. I didn't mix it like more I mix it more developer because like your powders and your powder so if I have less powder in there and more developer it's gonna be a lot better right or it's gonna be a lot like not better it's gonna be a lot less stronger so here I am rinsing really really well I'm gonna stop oxidation with Malibu C Deox and then we dried her up and now here is my lifting now, guys, this is not something I would put out for, like, a blonde. This is something I put out for Vivids. Now, as you can see, I'm using my cool new clips. And this is the lift. Now, see, I couldn't leave that in there. That was, like, donezo, right? Like, if I would have left that any longer, we would have had some issues with that breakage. No, that had come off, like, 30 minutes before the tops. So that was, like, done. So now, see, I did all my partings, and they were all sitting up in my clips. And now I just have to grab them down. Aren't those clips cool? I think those clips are so damn cool. So, guys, I already did my Olaplex number two. Like, I rinsed her. I stopped oxidation. I did Olaplex number two. I shampooed her out really good. I did all my hair cutting. Of course, I might do some dry cutting afterwards once I'm done blowing her out and everything. But, like, for the most part, this is all done. So, now I'm doing my Vivids. Okay, so what Vivids am, vivids am I using? I'm probably using Funk U by Oligo. I'm probably using some Magix 10. I'm probably using whatever the hell I have in my drawer, to be honest. Um... I really just feel like so many vivids are so much the same. There might even be some matrix in here. Who the hell knows? Um, there might be some pulp riot. It's just kind of what we got in the drawer. Um, I feel like a lot of them are a lot the same. Um, there might be some pure shades. I mean, there is so much stuff going on in this hair. Um, so as you can see, I straighten out the hair first with a comb and then I get into it with my fun color. I work it between my fingers. I, I schmear. I'm a schmear. This is my style. Um, I don't do a lot of linear colors. I can. It's monotonous and I don't like doing them. Um, I can. It's just like backbreaking work to me. I like to do like this kind of work. This is my style. And when you see it, you know it's mine. Um, I like to do color melting and things like that. So this is my style. So we're going to do blues and purples and greens. Um, I don't think we did too much purples. More like blues and greens on this one. And yellows. Blues, greens, and yellows. Um, we're going to purples next time because I'm over the green on Dee's hair. Like, she's been green for, like, I, ever since I've been looking at her, I swear. It's always green. And so we're going to go to purples on her. She can match the salon. So, um, Yeah. We're just smearing away here. So I got a lot of footage of me applying this. So as you can see, I'm working it out. And guys, I fast forwarded up. I am not beating her ass, okay, with the comb. It's on fast forward for your viewing pleasures. So I push hard so the brush goes through the hair. I push through the hair. And then sometimes I surface paint. As you can see here, I'm surface painting because I want to blend the colors together. So when it comes up to the root, I really don't care what's going on up there. I just kind of like push it hard. And then when it comes to the ends and I want to smear colors together, I surface paint almost like a balayage. So now, again, I'm, I'm pulling those little ends. Guys, I'm not doing it hard. And then if they have a jelly head, I kind of like push them back up. And then again, I work it side to side to make the hair roll. And I work the colors through. Now I'm going to get another color here. And I'm going to work that into that one. And I'm smearing them together. I know it's like a... It's a Yiddish term. My grandma probably gave it to me, the schmear, you schmear your bagel. You schmear it in the hair, you know. We're schmearing the colors together. That's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, Grammy. Um, and then sometimes I take the comb and I work it through too. And you see I saw a hair poke through that wasn't saturated, so I came back in with my color. Now, remember, your underlying pigment 
and the hair, yellow, is going to be a contributing factor to your final result of color. So if you have a lot of yellow left in the hair and you put blue on there, you are going to get green. If you put teal in there you might, and you want a, like a real true teal, you might have to put a little bit, a shot of more green in there to counteract the yellow that you have in the hair. You know, some blues, maybe a darker blue is going to counteract the level of yellow that you have in there. So the blue will overshine the hue of the yellow. Depends on the level of yellow sometimes. So here I am coming in again, just really, you could tell the way my brush is sometimes if it's up, down, or if it's like surface, like a balayage. I know it's sped up, so it's kind of hard to tell, but you know, be creative, guys. Like, I can't give it all to you. You need to learn. And as you can tell, before I grab the next section, even though I'm using light colors, I do wipe my hands in between each section just to make sure that, like, I'm not cross-contaminating because I might not be doing that. And I don't want no big old fingerprint in there. So we wanted to see some really bright pops around her face. So we're going in with that light lime green around the face, working it through with my comb, and then directing those pieces around the face. Inevitably, I have this one client, no matter what I do, I always slap her right in the face with um, the color every time. Every time. It's like a game. All right, as you can see, I'm going up and down straight on her root. I'm really pushing it in. And then, uh, again, guys, I don't want to be monotonous. We're just working it side to side. I mean, like, this is how you put it on. I mean, it's like over and over the same shit, you know? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm glad you guys, if you miss me, I miss you. Um, it just was a lot. We went to New Zealand for Christmas. Um, my puppy passed away. Um, that was really hard. Mr. Pandy Pooperton's um, while we were gone. And so it's just been a lot. And I'll be honest, YouTube's hard. It's hard to... Uh, keep the momentum going, keeping it fresh and funky. I want to kind of do some like face-to-face -face videos, but like just kind of carving out the time for that. Sometimes a little bit hard too. So sometimes I use a little bit shorter foils when I'm doing um, my uh, shorter pieces of the hair just to kind of keep things separated. So now we're done and we're moving on to curling our hair. So um, I already did the other sections, but I just want you to see how I curl some pieces. So I use my babyless iron. I use Ola Plus 6. And number seven, because it's a heat protectant. And number six helps keep the frizz away. It's a nice blow dry cream. And as you can see, um, we did a really awesome razor cut on her. And I was getting rid of um, Dee's Betty Bangs. Because, um, I don't know, I got rid of mine. I, think I was jealous and I couldn't look at hers anymore. No, fuck, I don't know why. I just wanted to get, I just wanted to update her look a little bit. I love sexy hair and I just wanted to make her hair super sexy. So you put a little bit of Olaplex number seven again in my hands and I give it a little shake, shake and I brush it out with, I give her a little fingering and I finger her okay, up awesome with finger guys. style. So just wait finger for the video out. in the finals because that's just what we're gonna it, do. Working it, working it, working it. And we're coming to the finale, guys. Hair. You can go Shake and a look doodles. At my Here we go. Like Here it comes. Here's right? Dee's finale. Look at her. Guys, look at how gorgeous Dee looks. Isn't that an amazing finale? I think she came out fantastic. Guys, if you like and enjoy my content, don't forget to like, follow, share. And most of all, don't forget to hit the ding dong. Guys, if you love that video, don't forget to check out this one right here. And don't forget, I love you guys. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.